This is a Buddhist temple, the inner sanctum of a new fighting art. There are now more than a million people who follow its teachings and train in its formidable skills. These young men have come here to study, training to be masters and missionaries for the sect. The temple complex where they live is large, a modern version of the traditional layout. The huge halls are only filled by followers on special days. During most of the year, the 40 students and staff use only a small fraction of the space for prayers and fighting practice. The temple is built on Shikoku, a large island about 400 miles south of Tokyo. The students lead disciplined lives. After the dawn prayers, their day is divided between practicing fighting techniques and studying the Shorinji Kempo teachings on Buddhism. They attempt to return to what they think the Buddha actually taught, rather than the beliefs that succeeding generations have added. The religious instruction is by a Buddhist monk, Master Suzuki. 本来仏教というものは釈迦がゴータマブッダがあの説いた時には生きている人間が自分の,その努力を少しずつ積み重ねてその自分の,その中にあの宿されている素晴らしい冷静というか可能性のようなものを最大限に発揮して生きていてよかったと。少しでも努力をすることによって人生のその真実真理に目覚めることができると There are two instructors of fighting at the temple, Master Arai and his senior, Master Yamasaki. As well as teaching the students, they themselves practice, always working out new fighting sequences using the most advanced techniques. Shorinji Kempo teaches that this sort of fighting practice is a form of prayer. This mixture of fighting and religion existed for centuries at the Shaolin Temple in China. There, the Buddhist monks practice fighting, and their techniques are still to be seen in Chinese fighting systems. This new Japanese system is inspired by those monks. In fact, its name, Shorinji Kempo, translated from Japanese, means the fist way of Shaolin Temple. The founder of Shorinji Kempo, Doshin So, based his fighting system on what he believed to be the way that the Chinese monks fought. He also added many techniques from other systems, especially Aikido, Judo and Karate. The result is a potent fighting art. Most of the students are university graduates who have also studied Shorinji Kempo intensely. They spend one or two years at the temple and at the end of that time they emerge as fully qualified instructors. They are not permitted to make instructing a profitable career, so are expected to earn their living in other ways. They pay fees to study here. Many of them work part-time on the premises doing office work. Others take jobs in the local town, often working in restaurants in the evening. Most of the students are Japanese, and all of them must have black belts in Shorinji Kempo before they enter the temple. When they've warmed up, they try short sequences of fighting moves with a partner. 
The Indian style of peaceful salutation reminds them that they must not injure each other. No contact is permitted in practice, but they must strike as close to their partner as they can. The fighting system, the religious beliefs, and the rules still governing the lives of his followers were all laid down by Doshin So before he died in 1981. His memorial statue looks out over the vineyards and rice fields of the island of Shikoku. It was important to Doshin So that his headquarters should be far away from the centers of sophisticated life. He felt that anyone who wanted to share the experience of the temple should be prepared to make a pilgrimage to it. He also planned that the students should cut themselves off entirely from their previous lives. Their time at the temple should be dedicated to living the complete Shorinji Kempo philosophy. And this would be easier for them in the simple country society of Shikoku. The governor of the island sympathized with these ideas and made it possible for enough land to be given to Doshin So to provide a site for the temple. The local community was also pleased, since it created work and income for them. The willing performance of humble tasks is part of the teaching in Buddhism that the students are given. They do all the menial work at the temple. They give up everything to serve the organization, behaving as acolytes, humble before their seniors. Not only must they do their work, they must do it perfectly. Not even a leaf must be allowed to escape. Every day the students spend about two hours keeping the temple clean, about three hours in fighting training, and about the same studying the theory and practice of Buddhism. As well as Buddhism, they study the life story of Bodhidharma, the Indian monk who, according to legend, went to the Shaolin temple and there taught the Chinese monks fighting techniques. <laughs> Doshin So first saw the great wall paintings at the Shaolin temple during the 1930s. He was working as an intelligence agent for Japan, studying Chinese martial arts as part of his cover. These paintings of Indian and Chinese monks practicing fighting techniques inspired him to try to create again both the system of fighting and the lifestyle of the monks. <laughs> Doshin So studied the paintings and copied techniques from them. He also used the ancient Hindu symbol of fruitfulness that Hitler perverted as the swastika. The mural shows that besides using ways of striking, the Shaolin monks were taught that by twisting and jerking the hand, wrist or arm, a man could be thrown. Even if he didn't hit the ground, an attacker could be kept at bay by putting a lock on. The mural was painted in the 18th century, about a thousand years later than the legendary teachings of the Chinese by Indians. As far as possible, the life shown in the Shaolin Temple mural has been recreated for the students. The Shorinji Kempo Temple is set on a hill above the small town of Tadotsu. At the end of the war, when Japanese society collapsed, the gangsters of the black market terrorized towns like this. Doshin So also lived by trading in the black market, but without violence against the general public. 
he led teams of vigilantes against the gangsters and cleaned up a number of towns. In the process, he tested and refined his fighting system and got involved in politics. It was in Tadotsu that he first started teaching Shorinji Kempo. His first big dojo is still in use in the town. There, the townspeople and their children train regularly with the students from the temple. In the beginning, Doshin So did not plan to create a large organization. He intended to be a teacher of his interpretation of Buddhism. However, he found he could attract young followers by teaching them fighting and then move on to philosophy. His first dojo was a small room in his house with just enough space to teach one student while the others watched through the doorway. He taught a vigorous Buddhism, encouraging his followers to stand up for themselves and fight back, a very attractive message at a time of post-war humiliation. The movement has also been a financial success, helped by the fact that in Japan, a religious organization is exempt from taxes. The untaxed income from over a million followers is substantial. The children learn under the same rigorous discipline, the same basic techniques as the adults. Although the children don't use much force on each other, many experts disapprove of twisting young wrists or applying any pressure to growing joints. In memory of Doshin So's death, each month the staff and students meet to pray in the room where he died. When he was 17, he went to China on military service, which developed into his intelligence work for the Japanese government. He was in China from 1928 to 1945. After the war, he married, and his wife remembers how he preferred a modest lifestyle. ですから若い人を集めて、それで人間教育を始めた。それはもう最初の頃は大変な頃だったと思います。どういうふうにしてそれをこなしたかって言われると、なかなか難しいですけれど。when Doshin So died in 1981 at the age of 70, it was important to find a successor to lead Shorinji Kempo. The committee running the organization chose his 22-year-old daughter, although she doesn't practice the fighting techniques due to an injury when she was young. She took her father's title of Kancho. As a child, she was always close to her father, and when she grew up, she traveled with him into China. 
一人ねその海祖が44年前にそのスーダンに行った時にあの接客係接待お客様の接待をする係をしてたっていうねあのその頃は小僧さんだったんですけれどもそういうあのお坊さんがいたんですそれで第あのスーザンに第1回目に行った時に初めて海祖とその人が対面したんですけれどもね。She relies heavily upon her father's memory for her credibility as leader. The sect is in the process of making a cult of Doshin So to try and fill the vacuum left by his death. He himself believed that what he taught was more important than any individual, but to his followers, he is the founder of a new Buddhist sect. So now at the temple, there is a museum of personal effects connected with his life. ご覧のように私は坊主でございますこれは中国でなった坊主でして一応制作坊主で日本のような儀式坊主や葬式坊主ではないのでございまして私の頭は昔から喧嘩坊主の方が通っておりまして、えー、道場という言葉もこれは本来が仏教の用語な道の場と書きましてね、えー、本当の仏教というものは決して今のように死んだ人を弔ったりおまじないをしたり病気を治したりそんなものじゃなかったと思うんです人間が人間として生きるためにどうしたらいいかということを基本にして人間尊重を中心に生きた人に対する教えであったはずなのにだいつの間にかどっかで在来のシャーマニズムの影響で逸脱してしまったと思うのですええー、見つきませんうちに私可愛くになったわけ<笑>はい、<笑>悪いやつが勝手なことをしてるね、はい、弱いやつは泣き寝入りするっていうのはもう我慢ならんたちだから、はい、じゃあまず初めは喧嘩に強くなることからうん喧嘩に強くなるっていうよりも言いたいことを言う、はい、自分を守るということが前提でなければね、はい、これは生きていけませんよやっぱり人間したいということになりますそうですね、はい、特に戦争中ね日本人の悪い傾向ね、はい精神力、精神力って言うけどね、これは嘘でしてね、はい、精神力もこれは必要だけれども、肉体も必要、ただし、バカではしょうがありませんからね。<笑>はい、そうですねということは、少林寺憲法っていうのは、私たちはどういうふうに受け止めたらいいんですか、うん、体と心と共に鍛える一つの方法と考えていただいたらいいと思いますね。でそういうい時に、Once a year, Shorinji Kempo goes on display in Tokyo. Followers come from all over Japan to perform in front of distinguished guests on this day. The guests include well known figures from Japanese business and politics, most of them from the right wing, old friends and supporters of Doshin So. The media focus on the new Kancho. She is always newsworthy, just as her father was. It's on this day that the importance of Shorinji Kempo is revealed. The size of its following, the fighting skill of its practitioners, and the sense of mission make it clear that the organization could be a force to be reckoned with in Japanese society. So far, it has remained a moral force. The prayers that are always part of any function were written by Doshin So. Perhaps the most important of all these guests is Mr. Sasakawa. He is one of the most powerful and richest men in Japan. 
president of a karate organization with eight million members. He was a close friend of Doshin So's and, like him, very far to the right in politics. It is still within the religious content of the day's proceedings that Master Arai and Master Yamasaki performed their rehearsed fighting display called a gyo. In a religion where to fight is to pray, this level of skill is evidence of the deepest devotion.行くそれは、あの、本来その仏教の言う、え、ま、専門の言葉で言うと、上部菩提、下家修行。お、上はその幸せの、その、実現を目指して、え、自分が努力をする。In more practical terms, gyo is the way in which the students develop the new techniques they are taught. Every day they practice as a regular pair. These two students are combining basic techniques with the sophisticated leg trap and throw they have recently studied. The roll out of the leg trap is actually more difficult to master than the throw itself. During practice, the movements are made very lightly, almost like a ballet. But they are powerful fighting techniques. Anyone who doesn't know how to roll out of it will be severely injured by the throw. もう要するにその自分が傷つかない、殺されないために相手をその傷つけ、あの殺すという手段が本来あの武道のその本質であったはずなんです。最初は。え、で、そういうあのところからその進んでいくと、あの勝ち負けの自分が生き残るために、自分
The pair gradually build up more and more moves, practicing until a rhythm is created and they flow from one to the next. The movements grow faster until there is no time for thought, only automatic reflexes guide the partners. Periods of rest and calm are essential between the bouts, and great concentration must be used to avoid injury. There are strict rules that they must follow. The gear must not last more than three minutes and contain four separate sections of fighting. Doshin So understood and used the strength of comradeship that these intense sessions of practice create. Many hours spent searching for perfection make a strong bond between performers, and pairs often work together for many years. Not only is a gyo a prayer, they also use it in sporting competition. Kazuhiro Kawashima and Atsushi Muraka bring their gyo to compete against other pairs in Tokyo. They came second out of the ten advanced pairs who reached the final. Not all of the most advanced experts in Shorinji Kempo live at the main temple. Most of the advanced masters throughout Japan lead working lives, teaching in their spare time. Master Bando is one of these. He works for Japan's railway system. He uses a Buddhist temple as his training dojo. Master Bando is not just a master of Shorinji Kempo, he is also a leading authority on one particular section of techniques. He goes regularly to the main temple to lecture. His subject is Shiatsu, the Japanese variation on acupuncture, which uses the pressure of thumbs rather than needles to cure its patients. Shorinji Kempo is maintaining the ancient tradition of combining the functions of its masters so that they are doctors as well as fighters. In addition to studying the pressure points of shiatsu, the students are also taught the manipulation of bones and muscles. This is similar to the techniques practiced in the West by osteopaths. Since the students practice so violently, they are constantly causing one another minor damage. These are techniques that can be used on anybody who needs help. They are general medical treatments. The same knowledge of the body that heals it can also be used to attack it. Just the pressure of Master Bando's thumb is enough to incapacitate a strong man. その
るしこの大きい人に我々はこれ持っていく必要ないな下の位置で攻めたらええんやけどもまあ一応参考までもこれ。だけど、むやみやたらにあの後ろに向けて、この大きい人間を教えたと、知らんか。これはしとるわけ。角度がっちゃうわけだ。なんかやっぱり当てるのご要素も一緒。ね、角度ちょっと。this is the secret knowledge shared by masters in India, China and Japan and taught only to the very advanced students。it is based on the acupuncture points that are not used in healing techniques。They can be used to make an extremely simple hold very effective. When Master Bando only applies pressure to the student's wrist, it has no effect. But when he presses on the exact location of a vital point with one of his fingers, the student cannot resist. The vital points can only be used by very skilled people. Since they require great precision to be effective. As part of their training, Master Bando also teaches the students how to revive people who are unconscious. As he is a thorough and conscientious teacher, he first renders a student unconscious. These resuscitations are achieved by using the creative medical shiatsu techniques. It's important for the students to learn them since very dangerous accidents can happen while people are practicing. If the student is in charge of a dojo, then injuries are his responsibility. Thank you. <laughs> Master Bando demonstrates how easy it is to knock someone out using a vital point. The blow was not powerful. Its effect comes from the precision he used to strike the exact point. Although he is skilled enough to use these techniques on trained students, they are extremely dangerous. So much so that he would not even let them practice on each other. これは人形みたいなわけ。落ち着いて冷静一日着にする。いや、あ、それで首を見ます。はい。はい。はい、すまん。ちょっと。はい。人間とか水とかね、そのままの一応今のは私がしたのはね、これを塗るとね、いいです。はい、硬いね、その三日月とかね。なんかこの人もっと白
、まあ、それで金手蹴ったりしたらなまたもうあの